Hey everyone, it's Lauren here and we're going to get some mixed media happening. So using the watercolours that we got in the kit, I've just sprayed some water on and I'm just using the water brush to pick up some colour and squirt a little bit of colour as I'm pushing on those lines. And then I've been a little bit lazy and cheeky and letting it drip down as well. Obviously, it's probably not ever a genuine technique but it works really well you can see the color gets on nicely and I'm just using the three tones of blue so I've gone to get a bit of plastic packaging and just using I'm holding both ends and making a curved edge so that I can pat it down and move it across and get some of the color moving around and that way it goes all over my page where I want it I'm not going edge to edge but I'm doing enough I have dried it and then I've come back in and I'm doing some little ink splatters just by using the darker of the blue colors. Actually, it's the medium blue color. We're just cleaning out my little, um, the little water brush that we get in the collection in that little um, watercolor palette. It's such a good. I can't believe Steph got us that in our mixed media kit. It's pretty awesome. So now I'm just looking at the papers, and I'm. This is a stage where I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the monochromatic color tone and just have the blue and the white and I'm trying to work out if I want to have a pattern paper in the background and what other patterns maybe I could use for some layering now I love this pattern but I also love the rainbow on the background and I um, you know to and fro but then I do decide I'll gut it out and I just use the um, what is it the paper cutter to gut the middle out and use that square and look I got enough of the rainbow that I could probably fussy cut that part of the rainbow and use it so I'm just cutting down now the paper so that it, um, it doesn't overlap the pattern paper and then is therefore useless fighting with my cutter because why not and just a little bit like half an inch on each side I think I take just enough so that you can see enough of the pattern and then I'm going to use the paper edger to rough up the edges and then I also do some like rips because I'm being so vigorous but I also like that look on it and um, two of the sides have got rips naturally from this machine or this tool and then two don't so then I try and well, I don't try I do actually rip the other edges they did rip a lot so I'm making sure that they are covered so that they don't um, come apart from where the tape is on the pattern paper or even that they're not covered by pattern paper now I'm going to put my double-sided tape here and I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learnt by oh, I can't even remember who what I was watching so I pull one edge off entirely and then the other edge I just fold up one like one end each and this way you can position it and you can see the little tabs are sticking out that you've folded over and you can just pull it and push down that edge that way if you've got all four sticky edges well for me anyway I find that I it sticks down and I'm like no that's not where I wanted it to go and I'm having all sorts of trouble but that makes it a little bit easier anyway I've got three screenshots of cold 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 and I decide that's what I'm using so then I'm going with the cold theme and I'm using the oil pastels that I pulled out in my mixed media stash kit and I have just put in some little snowflakes just lines aka snowflakes <laughs> and putting them all over the page doing a different random sizes trying to have them here there and everywhere I know they're not super in your face but it's a nice little subtle touch that I like and then I come in with some other colors of the oil pastels so I've got a dry brush here and I'm just the oil crayon that I've put on the my little card there I'm just putting it straight on the paper using the dry brush so it's sort of like um, the stencil brush that Vicky Budin uses but I'm just using a cheap little brush this is literally the cheapest brushes I've got I brought them um, for kids ages ago and it never made it to them so instead I put it in my stash and I just decided this would be a good idea and so I've just used the darker blue now and some you can see I'm just doing some circular motions and then some lineish 
kind of rubbing it on. It's just adding an extra bit of color and layer and dimension to the mixed media going on. So the third shade of the blue that I've got in the oil crayons or the art crayons. And this one it wasn't really going on. So I added a little bit of water and that made it just spread out a little bit easier. And you can see it going on to the page very nicely. So just cleaning that up nice and simple. Just a baby wipe to get that off. And I go back to my watercolors. I'm just using my spray bottle to fill up my water brush. And I'm going to put some color on with some of the black water color. Again with the ink splatters. Because I had the watercolors there, it's obviously really helpful. But they are really nice pigments, so you don't need to get out your spray mist. I pull out my big paint pen and I was going to do another different design. You can see I've done the dashes, but instead I go in with some snowflakes. That way they've got some darker snowflakes with the white and then the lighter ones that I've used with the oil pastel. And I've cleaned up that paint pen that I put on my edge, tidied up a little, and I'm going to just use my baby wipe to pull off. I, w I was going to rub it in so that the white just blended in, but it came off really easily, I guess, because there's so many layers. And more snowflakes, and this time using a light blue oil pastel or art crayon. They're all in together in my little stash, so I um, guess it doesn't really matter. Pretty like, and if you've been with Kidaholic Kits for a while now, you would have had your own little stash of art crayons and oil pastels because we've had them in a, quite a few mixed media kits over the months. So definitely why it's really cool to get the mixed media kit to build up your mixed media stash and use some different things in different ways so just trimming down these little screenshots you can see it was minus 8.2 one morning here in Canberra this was the I'm doing the 2018 album because I haven't started 2019 nor have I started 2020 other than some random photos that I've printed because I really like that event or whatever. So nearly finished and then I'll be able to move on. Um, but anyway, I digress. So I'm just going to use these three screenshots and use some layering. And I'm looking for that kind of crazy distress look because I've already got that messy mixed media. It's kind of messy but purposeful at the same time and then I've got distressed edges of the cardstock. It's nice to rip the paper and when you're ripping, if you rip up the side to the right, like if you use your right hand to rip up, then the paper on your left, if that's what you're going to use, will end up with that white edge, jagged edge. If you don't want the white jagged edge, then cut, um, rip it up the other way. So just using these stickers and I love these stickers. I love the the color of them. I love that there's a lowercase and uppercase and I really think I might need like 10 packets. If I'm going to like hold myself back, I'm just going to use them and not hoard them. Anyway, so I'm spelling out my title. I've got it on some plastic just so that I can have a little play with positioning. I've got nothing stuck down yet and just going with the flow and trying to work out where my the direction of my layout is going to go. So I wonder if I want a doily one part top and one part at the bottom, but then I decide I'm going to put both halves of my doily up the top and add a little bit of layering happening up there, which is really nice. And then I received this little ephemera um, bag that we got with the sequins in it and put that there as a layering piece. Now I've cut out this tag that came in the printables, so make sure you are printing your printables and using them as you go along. This is always a good thing to have. And I've glued all that stuff down, all the ephemera and doily and photos, and stuck down my title. You didn't have to watch that boring job. I didn't move anything, so that was good this time. I was going to make one of these bows, and I use my stapler. And I love how easy it is and how cool it looks with a staple in the middle. I don't know why I didn't think of them last time when we had the fabric bows in a kit. But I'm so glad I thought of it now. And hopefully it helps you guys to feel um, the ease of it. But also the look of it with that cool... I love the look of staples. It's one of those things that it's just so funny. Anyway, 
As I'm holding it down to just let the glue dry to the paper, I'm using some labels to layer up on the side here and have another little cluster going on. So I've got that tag on the, the left and that heart that's got the picture of the home because definitely this day we wanted to stay home, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. I'm like, I don't, we would have just gone to school and work. It wouldn't have been anything <laughs> exciting as such, but I do remember it being super cold. It's not normally minus eight, um, but it does get to like minus five and things like that. So that's how it goes in that screenshot the tap is actually obviously is being dripping and as it gets cold during the night the water freezes in the tap and you've got the icicle hanging down so i've cut out some circle labels and i'm going to add this sticker label the sticker here the circle one and i cover up a small label because obviously i hadn't planned that out I'm just going to have a look. I've got that little ephemera piece there to the left and I've got all these little puffy stickers that I pulled out and put in from my stash as well. So check out my unboxing video to find out why I've got all these extra stash goodies. And so I'm just using them up, get a star on and some of those puffy words. Both are from, actually all those puffy stickers are from previous Kidaholic kits. And I've got these two items that I pulled out of my stash as well, which I didn't pull anything for this layer, um, this layout. And I put a couple of more stickers on because you can't have enough. And I'm really liking how um, layered up and all the things, the more you look at the layout, the more you can see in terms of spots of difference. And I'm just loving that, that look that's going on. I'm loving the mixed media in the background. I'm just... Very thrill, ugh, very thrilled this month to discover this mixed media craze of layer upon layer that I used to do a quite a bit and and I do love and will hopefully, especially if you guys are enjoying it, continue to do so. So just adding some of these um, banners that I've gotten from a planner sticker company had in my stash. I did try planner kind of prettiness, but. I'm not even good at normal planner, let alone making it all pretty. So uh, that went out the window. And so using up the stickers, I figured these would probably be good, seeing as they're just solid colours. Now I'm going to add this little um, label that I've just quickly cut out. It's very easy to cut those printables. And I'm just going to layer it under here so you can still see all that um, ripped edge of the paper, but then there's room for some quick journaling. And I use my a blue, just a blue ball, ballpoint pen, just to add some journaling. I, black wasn't going to work at all. Oh, I guess I got black in some of those tiny word stickers and some of the writing in the paper, but I didn't feel like black was going to be right. So add on that geotag sticker. I never use them, so it's so good that I could actually get one on the page. And then I'm adding some of the enamel dots and there's a red heart that's fallen out and I'm going to pick it up soon and move it out of the way because it'd be a bit crazy to add just one random red heart on this layout. So that was just an accident that fell out when I picked up everything. But anyway, I'm just going to add on a few more enamel dots and then we're going to go into the close-ups, meaning that I finish this layout and hopefully you feel inspired and get some ideas to create for yourself. Anyway, have a great day guys, enjoy and I'll see you next video. Bye!